So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today guys I bring you the final version, the best version, the no crash version of upgrading all of your blueprints, super super easy, super super fast, no infected trophies needed. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I apologise about the spam, I've posted the same exploit, well not the same exploit but relatively the same exploit three times now this is the third time of me doing it the first time we did this um the method was crashing a lot of people's games the second time i did this which was last night it eliminated the crashes but you were limited to how many chances you had of upgrading your blueprints this time it, it it's but you get unlimited chances you don't crash the game it's by far the best method 100 now if you want a history lesson on these i'll link the two videos down below but I'm just going to get straight to the point here, keep this video short and sweet and explain exactly how this works. So what you need to do is guys, come to the Craftmaster and the first exploit, like I said, you would, uh, so what you need to do is firstly, for people that have never seen this before, you need to purchase one of these, but before that bar fills up, you need to switch across to the, the upgrade tab. And what would, what would happen is the game would be tricked into buying you or giving you the actual, well, the upgrade here. It would trick the game. You wouldn't, you wouldn't purchase the resin, but you'd actually go to buy the resin. But because you're switching across quickly or timing it right, you'd actually get the upgrade for the blueprint. But you wouldn't spend any of those infected trophies. So all you needed for this was some old world money. You got plenty of gold. You can do this all day long. So use one of the many exploits or glitches or methods in getting that gold. I'll link a few down below in the video description to get plenty of gold. Once you got that, you can do this. The problem was. The original method was you need to you need to have items where it had more than one for sale, i.e. as you can see all these here, 24, 16, 14, 16, because we needed this menu to pop up. But that menu there, when you when you switch across, could freeze the game. So if I did that and timed it right, it would free it well, it don't do it for me all the time. So as you can see here, I've switched tabs perfectly. The background is the uh, upgrade tab, but I've got the resin, as you can see here, with a pop-up with the amount of buy. Now this sometimes will crash people's games. You wouldn't even have to press buy, you could press cancel, you could press buy all. It'll crash on people's games. It was happening to me plenty of the time. And look guys, as you can see, it's just crashed my game. I went to cancel that then and it crashed my game. So I'll load the game back up guys and show you how we completely eliminate that. So give me a quick second. You know what the funny thing is guys, I've seen comments on my videos, I've seen comments on other people's videos doing glitch, where people say, if that, if that, uh, that pop up pops up on screen just press cancel or just don't per uh, press purchase all or just click buy one it doesn't matter it can still crash your game so for people watching this who have said that in the past it doesn't matter that pop up there is what's causing the crash for some people it doesn't crash for others it definitely does like it like the first half an hour of me doing this it didn't crash my game at all and then all of a sudden i kept getting crashes i know it's a major issue on ps5 too so that menu we needed to eliminate so the the video i posted yesterday what we need to do is and i'll show that here we needed to purchase all of these items down to a single item so when there's one item there you actually don't get the uh, the crash because you're only buying one so that pop up oh shit i didn't mean to do that you buy three of them because when you get you only get the pop up when there's more than one for sale so what we were doing was why is that not but why is it Fucking out, it's allowing me to buy, that's weird. But yeah, you only got the pop-up when this, this popped up on screen, choose the amount to buy. So what the, the fix was, to get all these items down to one each, therefore we wouldn't get the actual, the pop-up. And I'm gonna demonstrate that to you now. But I've still found an even better way, because this obviously limits you to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and say eight, we're gonna use scraps. I'm gonna demonstrate how this new one works. So we'd have eight chances, and I'd recommend doing this as well. Hover above the very first item in your upgrade page, and then go across and always purchase the first item start here. But the thing was here, as you can see, we've got one of each. So if we don't time this right, I'm gonna buy these. And it, it works, and that means then you're out of luck. There you go, I got to throw a knife there. So I've, I've purchased the cleaning supplies. I'll keep trying this until I run out. See, I can, my time is off, people. They got throw a knife again. Missed it. Gonna try here. Yeah, my time is off. 
Put it on, mate. Okay, so say you accidentally purchased these. So the new method, guys, and what I'll explain today is how we can, well, seemingly bog this out. So we've got unlimited chances of switching menus and I can never purchase this. And that's quite simple. As you can see here, if I try to buy this, I can't buy it. The reason I can't buy it is because I've got 999 scrap. So there's 28 there. So if I drop 27 of my scrap, as you can see here, let me just drop it. Here we go. Let me just drop 27 of them. Which you can pick back up later. Well, you actually won't be able to pick them up. So I'm dropping 27. There we go. 27 on the floor. So if I purchase 27 here, you'll see there's one left. And I can't purchase that one. It won't let me buy that one. So now, guys, I have unlimited chances of upgrading my upgrades. We've never run the risk of purchasing that scrap. So this would work with any resource that you've got 999 of. Don't have to be scrap. My time is completely off, people. <laughs> my time is useless. But yeah, this actually eliminates the crash altogether. And you never run the risk. You never run out of chances. You never have to go to sleep and come back. You've got everything here, guys. It's perfect. Oh, my time is wank. But I think you guys understand what I'm doing here. We'll hover above that again, just in case. One more upgrade. Okay, two more upgrades. Come on, we got this shit. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, but as you can see, guys, this worked perfectly. Don't crash the game. So, you guys, this will work with any resource that she sells or any craft master sells, which you have 999 of. So, all you need to do is obviously just purchase 999, dupe so you got 999, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then when you go to a, a resource tab, any item that you've got 999 of that she has for sale, you want to drop the equivalent so you can purchase what she has and leave in one so you can do this exploit. It is that simple, guys. So like I said, as I did with the scrap, and now it's just that I'm, I'm, all, I'm almost done on all my upgrades, as you can see here. So I can sit here now for about another half an hour because my time is wank and I get all these done. There we go. There we go. There we go, we're on fire now, people. We're on fire now, people. But you guys understand what I mean, do you not? I hope you do. And there we have it, guys. And that is, I'm guessing, the final exploit we'll use. No crashing, no glitching. But you guys, that is it. The final one, the final version, unlimited tries, never run out of resources. You can do this for as long as you like. And there you go, guys. Time doesn't have to be perfect. You can make mistakes. And we are good guys to do this. And it is, people, as simple as that. My timing is perfect now. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Dying Light, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.